hey what's up guys welcome back to another video today i want to show you an easy and very quick way to remove an element on your time lapse birds birds are the worst in time lapse so black dogs appearing disappearing blah so destructive so let's jump to after effects and show you how to remove them okay now we are here in uh, after effects and uh, once you have your time lapse rendered you create a new composition and then you duplicate duplicate uh, duplicate <laughs> the layer and once you du duplicate uh, with the command D you go to the first frame and you move the first layer to the right one frame and then you adjust your work area to avoid a mess <laughs> and uh, so you can see here that you get a little bit of birds one two three there is a uh, as well i think an helicopter behind so you can see it doesn't look good when there is there is birds there is not too, ma too many luckily on this one but you get the point it's like you know black dots appearing and disappearing then not it doesn't look good so now you grab your pen tool and you draw a mask on the sky just roughly where there are the birds okay and go to blending mode and from normal you go to lightning and poof that's it birds are gone now this method is not always working and to get the best of it you need to keep in consideration three things number one it will only work with the blackbirds on silhouette for example so if you have um, a seagull and you can see the white feather on, on, the, on the frame is not gonna do a lot so you need to remove that bird manually number two when you create a mask just be careful and create a mask on the sky see if you create the mask on the background or if the background is moving there is some element that are moving you just create a mess and it's not gonna look good on the on the time lapse and number three just be careful of the clouds so basically depending on what kind of clouds you have on the time lapse if you have clouds that are not moving very fast then it's perfect if you have instead some clouds that are moving quite fast and with a lot of shapes then if you apply the light and light and mode on the blend on the blending mode basically you will create some artifacts on the clouds and no it doesn't look very good and basically that's it now you can render your time lapse and we are done easy peasy I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial thumbs up if you have it and if you have any question leave it down below in the comments and um, if you are not subscribed yet feel free to subscribe thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one ciao ciao hey what's up bye bye appearing disappearing blah ah. you need to keep in, consider in consideration 